Police resources in the Maclay were a hot topic when the Deputy Premier dropped in today. The region's crime rate has come under the community spotlight recently, but authorities insist we're on the right track. Crime and antisocial behaviour was the hot topic when Deputy Premier Troy Grant arrived in Kempsey today. Crime rates in this area uh, are falling across all categories, which is great news. But there's still more to be done, and the first big plan is a bigger police presence. Seven new officers are due to arrive in the coming months. These officers will be based at Kempsey. Uh, they'll be supporting the general duties in regards to frontline policing duties out there. However, politicians, police and community services agree the issues are bigger than just tackling crime. But it's not the police's job to raise children, as, as it's not teachers' um, responsibility to raise children. It's a parent's responsibility, and we've got to improve the capacity of parents. Across the mid-north coast, there's close to 700 children currently living in out-of-home care, like foster homes or shelters. But the problem is too far ingrained and too far spread to be left to just the police. As part of a new Closing the Gap initiative, services across the Maclay have combined for an overall response. Let's get some of the obstacles out of the way, such as you know privacy laws that stopped health department talking to the education department. The Premier's touring regional police commands and the ice epidemic, one issue still needing a solution. It's been the predominant discussion already. And the drug fight here on the coast is about to step up yet again. Later this year we're looking forward to some technology that will assist us here in this area uh, for detecting people under the influence of drugs. Samantha Crow in Kempsey, Prime 7 News.